the chairman of the NTDA, Mr Martin O'Brien. Good morning. For those of you that know me, I'm not usually easily forgotten, but uh, <laughs> thanks, Stefan. Fellow NTDA members and industry colleagues, on behalf of the NTDA executive officers, it gives me great pleasure in my first year as national chairman to welcome so many of you to the fifth tyre industry conference here in Birmingham, the birthplace of the NTDA. This is already a special year in that this evening we will be celebrating the association's 90th annual dinner. But in reality, we are not just celebrating the 90th annual dinner, we are celebrating the successes of the NTDA and its members over the last 89 years. And in this year, it's certainly been another great year of achievements. It's been a year of new partnerships, campaigns, lobbying, technician education and membership growth. For example, in February we joined forces with our colleagues from the vehicle recovery industry and became a stakeholder in the Slow Down, Move Over campaign and a major supporter of the campaign for safer roadside rescue and recovery. I am delighted that many of our colleagues from the vehicle recovery industry and the campaign for safer roadside rescue and recovery are with us today and as Richard Goddard will very shortly be presenting on the achievements of our joint campaigning and lobbying activity to date, I will just say that together we are making great strides in raising awareness of the dangers recovery operators and commercial tyre technicians working at the roadside face on a daily basis. We are making real progress towards improving their safety, something which the NTDA has, of course, under the REACT banner, been campaigning towards for many, many years. Another area in which the Association has been active on the lobbying front is in relation to truck and bus radials. As most of you will be aware, the DFT announced on the 29th of February this year that it planned to consult on options to ban older tyres from use on buses, coaches, heavy goods vehicles and minibuses to help keep road users safe. Subsequently, taxis and private hire vehicles have been included in the consultation launched in June, which naturally extended the consultation into passenger car tyres too. The NTDA submitted a detailed response to the DFT, addressing all of the questions contained in the consultation questionnaire, together with additional information and evidence relating to a continued call for a ban on illegal and non-compliant Part 1 tyres, specifically in relation to their use on vehicles used to transport paying passengers, such as minicabs, and expressing the Association's 100% backing of commercial tyre retreading in the UK, an industry which we believe is highly professional and crucial to our trade. This led to our Chief Executive Stephen Hay having a number of follow-up meetings with colleagues at the DFT, enabling him to further expand upon our concerns. Technician training is also a key agenda item for the NTDA. I am delighted to announce that more than 6,000 commercial tyre technicians have now been trained, assessed as competent and issued with the REACT licence. The licence is universally recognised across our industry by manufacturers, tyre distributors, customers and insurers alike and is now the de facto licence to work safely at the roadside, not only in the UK but also in the Republic of Ireland where the Irish Tyre Industry Association has now adopted the scheme. REACT is not the only licensing scheme performing well. More than 600 commercial tyre technicians have now been trained, or should I say retrained, assessed as competent and issued with the NTDA commercial tyre technician licence. And 50 technicians have now been issued with the NTDA retail tyre technician licence. So, all of this is great news for the experienced tyre technicians, but you may recall at last year's conference, Paul Binks from QuickFit presented on the new Specialist Tyre Operative Apprenticeship Standard and warned us that if companies did not take on apprentices and didn't use the standard, we would lose it. 
I think you'd all agree that that would be devastating to the future skills development within our trade. The good news is that as an industry, once again under the NTDA banner, we have united and are about to go live with the first intakes of new apprentices. Thanks to the hard work of Paul Binks, Gavin White from Autotech Recruit, Phil Thursk, many colleagues from numerous leading NTDA tyre distributor members, and the team at Remit Training Limited, we will be piloting a new scheme across the UK. But as excited as we all are about that, uh, I'm not going to say too much about that, as Dave Walker from Remit will be giving us the full details later today. I do, however, want to take this opportunity to thank Continental for sponsorship support in supplying many of the tyres, casings and other training aids needed. Also, a huge thank you to Rima Tiptop for their very generous commitment to supply all of the machinery, equipment, tools and materials needed for the apprentices' training. On the membership front, the association is still thriving and once again we have welcomed many new companies as members, including independent tyre distributors, Buckley Tyre, Dean's Tyre Services, P. Harrison & Co., Renfrewshire Tyre Services, Sol Tyre, Stone Tyres, Tyres Direct Sterling and Tyreman Hull. And also supplier members, ABAX UK, Bartek Auto ID, CompareTyres.com, GS UASA Battery, ISN Europe, Mini Mobile, Mobile Tron, Motor Kiki, Philips Automotive Lighting, Qualitor Automotive UK, Techni and Wheel Solutions, and as of yesterday, Pulteney. And from my personal point of view, if we could have supplier members next year with easier names to pronounce, I'd be very grateful. <laughs> We're seeing more and more independent tyre distributors in particular showing interest in the NTDA. Many, many be wanting to become members and those companies will enjoy many of the new benefits that we have introduced such as the health and safety manual which is free to members and the new exclusive to members NTDA members don't sell part worn tyres campaign materials that Stefan mentioned in his opening address. I know that many of our new members are represented here today alongside a number of other companies that are looking to join the association. And of course, all of you are very, very welcome. The association has also continued its charitable activity and over the last year has continued to, date, to donate money raised at its events to the Wheelwrights Charity, with much of that money having already been presented to Wheelpower, the national charity for wheelchair sport. Additionally to that work, a cheque for £886.60 was donated to Deborah Dormer, the mother of Angel Dormer, an 18-year-old girl from Hemel Hempstead, suffering from severe neurological problems. That was to enable her to buy the electric motor desperately required for Angel's wheelchair, enabling her to leave the house. This money was raised at the NTDA's Tyre Industry Golf Day, held at Rudding Park in June. Next year we will be moving the golf day down south and I am pleased to announce that it will be held on Tuesday the 9th of June at the Oxfordshire Golf Club near Tame. At this point I'd like to thank all of those members and other supporters who have donated prizes, money and engaged in fundraising activities as your contributions are really changing lives. So I'm certainly looking forward to hearing all of the conference speakers today and to the 90th dinner celebration tonight. But it would be remiss of me if I did not mention and highlight two more of the major social networking events to look forward to this year. <coughs> the Northern Ireland Ladies' Night and Awards at the Culloden Estate and Spa on November the 16th and the North, North West and North Wales Region Rubber Ball at the Village Hotel Blackpool on November the 23rd. Stefan and I will be attending both and would encourage you all to get involved and network too. They really are great events. As always, I would like to thank the NTDA team at Aylesbury for all of its incredible hard work. Its dedication to this conference and the annual dinner is really what makes it work. The dinner seems to get bigger and better every single year, so your help is greatly, greatly appreciated back in Aylesbury.
Thank you. Being your national chairman this year, a year of constant political turmoil in our country, changes in our industry, and some real positive developments within the association has been engaging, enjoyable, rewarding, and a privilege. And I'm now very much looking forward to my second year. There have been 55 presidents and eight national chairmen before me, and their passion and aspirations for our industry live on under example, not only to me, but to all, to all who call themselves tyre industry professionals. So with that in mind, I would like to close by quoting William Godsell, the founding father and first president of the NTDA. Those who choose to sit outside of the association will never understand the value of partnerships and solidarity, or conceive of the great good that the association has achieved on behalf of the trade since its humble beginnings in 1930. But with the experience our wonderful body has gained during some of the darkest days experienced by our nation, I have no doubt that it will be the association that gives the greatest of value to our entire industry for decades to come. Therefore, to those who claim not to need the unity offered by the NTDA, I see this. There are those who know the value of things and those who think only of the cost. So which are you? I hope you all have a very enjoyable day. Thank you.